I'm about to open up a can. A can of sardines. Because I'm going to replicate this can of sardines in cake. All right, let's do this. Oh God. <laughs> oh God, it smells. Ugh, pew. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh. Okay, let's see. See if you can get a good look. You see that? It's nasty. Okay. I can do this. I'm Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a can of sardines cake. I asked my husband Dave what cake he thinks that I should make this week. And he very quickly and confidently responded, I have sardines. <laughs> he didn't have to think about it very long at all. In fact, I found his quick response a little odd. It's like he's been waiting my whole cake career for this sardine suggestion. You know what's funny? When I walk around and I'm out in the world, I see everything as a possible cake. The cars, the cement, a fire hydrant, all possible cakes. That's just how my brain works now. And I'm starting to think that it is possible that it's also how my husband's brain works now. I feel like he thought of the sardines a long time ago. If I'm being honest, I find sardines to be a little bit gross because they're super stinky. <laughs> I can eat them if they're in a recipe, but pulling a little fish out of a tin just isn't something that I'm interested in eating. But I am interested in making a cake of the little fishes because I think that it's funny anytime I make a cake version of stinky things. <laughs> it's a weird like mind bender thing. Like the cake smells like cake, but it looks like it should stink like a fish. It's wild, it's weird. So when I first opened the tin, the fishy smell filled up the room, but I had to do it. I had to see what these little fishies looked like. And there's nothing like using the real thing as a reference when you're making a realistic cake. But after about a half hour working on the cake with the real sardines on the table right next to my face, the smell actually went away. I mean, I know that the smell still existed, but I guess I just got used to it. And then I couldn't smell it anymore. Since that odor was so strong at first, and then it was just completely gone, I had to look into why this happens to us. Cause I've had this happen before. I know that it happens, but I never really thought about it. So I looked it up and it turns out that this is an experience called olfactory fatigue, AKA nose blindness, which I think is a much funnier name. Basically your brain temporarily causes you to lose your sense of that particular smell so that you can smell other stuff in the room that might be out of the ordinary. Maybe you smell a fire now, something that's going on that shouldn't be going on. It's like instinct stuff. You know, I, I must stay alive. I must smell danger. <laughs> it's very important for us to smell danger. And in that case, I'm gonna give my brain a big thank you for stopping me from smelling because that smell was so bad. I mean, I told you guys, I, I just don't like the smell of the sardines. It is just nasty. Now this cake is mostly modeling chocolate and cake, but the real sardines are packed in oil. So I'm going to make some gelatin and I'm gonna pour it into the cake to represent that. And I'll use edible paper for that pulled back lid. I'm getting ahead of myself. You will see, we will get there. This cake kind of makes me wanna make another fish cake, but like a larger fish that still has its head on. <laughs> I had a decent sized fish tank in my basement as a kid. And some of those fish lived for a really long time. Now I know that it feels a lot longer when you're really young. But for real, I think that our family were good fish owners. The fish that I remember most was this big old kissing fish. And it was that off white color. It was kind of like a light pink. It definitely stood out among the other smaller fish. I used to walk up to the tank and it would be chilling and just kissing <laughs> because that's what they do. They, they kiss. Kissing fish have those big mouths and they move their lips in that kissing motion just over and over again. And not like subtle kisses, their lips really flare out. It's super cute. <laughs> So when I was a kid, I used to dump some of those food flakes into the tank and then the fish would swim up to the top and it would suck the food in with that big mouth. That fish was my buddy. I didn't give it a name, but it was still my buddy. I remember on Christmas Eve one year, we went to my grandma's and we celebrated and we got home pretty late. 
Then I walked over to the fish tank and the kissing fish was gone. Not like literally gone, but it passed away. He was belly up. So I kind of yelled and I'm telling my parents to come into the room and I wanted to show them the fish because I was like, what's happening here? So my dad comes in, he looks at the fish, then he looks over at me and he says, Did you forget to feed the fish before we left? <laughs> At the time, I was like, what? So then my mom smacked my dad's arm and she explained to me that the fish had lived a very long life and it just got old. It wasn't anybody's fault. So yeah, I, uh, I really liked that fish. Rest in peace, fish. I really should have given it a name. You know what? You guys can help me out. In the comments, give me recommendations for the best kissing fish name, and I will pin the comment of my favorite name. And then it'll be official. I will forever call my childhood kissing fish by that name. And then I'll let all my family know so that they can too, because I'm sure that we're gonna talk about that fish all the time for the rest of our lives. I'm sure we're gonna talk about that fish again at some point, and we will use that name. <laughs> And there you have it, a canned sardines cake. Something's fishy about these sardines. <laughs> bad joke. I really like the way that this turned out and I hope you guys do too. If you guys like this video and you like this cake, please give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now. I put out a brand new cake every week. All right, let's cut the cake. I'll see you guys next week for another cake.